Hello everyone, welcome back to the Road to Rank 1. Today's matchup is Cassio versus Silas, or it could be Trindamir. Uh, we'll see if they end up swapping or not. But basically, why did I go for Cassio? Well, Cassio is a great counter pick in the melee champ, so it's very, very good versus Silas. And I think Silas thought it was Galio mid when it was picked, so um, I kind of got a freer matchup here. Now, I did go for Ghost, which was, well, combat sums are good on Cassio in general, but I think also it's easier to get away with combat sums versus melee champions because it's harder for them to push you out of lane. And I felt like if I didn't have Ghost versus Belveth and Pike, that I'd just get ganked because I am in a mobile mid after all. So I kind of took this for a bit of extra safety. Now this game, Cassio is good versus all these champs except for Caitlyn. So as long as Caitlyn doesn't get fed, we should have a very good time. And um, in the laning phase, obviously, Cassio is very strong. Now if he has D-Shield second wind and I don't have TP, I, I probably don't have the um, I don't have the power to push him out of lane. Yeah, so he does have D-Shield second wind. So probably what I'm going to do is just... Um, yeah, probably what I'm going to do is just poke this guy. Like, I'm, I'm just going to try to get mana flows off him, I think. I don't actually really want to fight him because, again, I don't really have the mana to do so. So, yeah, let's just keep shoving for now. And um, we'll just play to basically CS. And then on our first base, that's when we'll, we'll start to get really aggro. Um, we could maybe get aggro at three, but we only have the mana to, like, all in. We don't have the mana to poke him out, as I said before. Um, and I think Belvis started bot side. I wasn't actually looking. This guy, yeah, so I kind of misplayed here. He probably should have gone on me. Um, because I normally versus Sarge, you want to make sure you have some creeps between you so he can't get the E2 on you. This is still good, though. I'm going to hit level two first. So we do need to make sure we... But we just need to be careful, right? Like, the, the reality of playing a combat sum versus someone that has TP is that you're a lot weaker in the laning phase, um, and you need to really, just, you know, conserve your resources, trade efficiently, try to be really smart about it, and play for after the first base. Because normally in skirmishes and after first base, that's when you'll start to be stronger. So I'm just going to let this shove. Now, I might ward bot side or not. I'm not too sure. Like, on one hand, like, Belveth will probably go to top side, right? On the other hand, like, having a ward in bot side would be useful if Pike ends up leaving the bot lane. And also, my Lee is popping to that side of the map, so I might just ward bot side and hug to that. To be honest, you could probably ward either side, and as long as you hug to it, I think it's fine. Oh, should not have gotten hit by both of those. Um, if we can get this wave under the tower, it would be good. I don't think it is going to go under, though. I think Belveth is in River, the way this guy is playing. In fact, I think she's in this bush. He just seems like he's playing way too aggro. Um, this is really awkward, though, because now I'm very pushed up without a ward. So I'm probably gankable here. Okay, Trim shows back top. But basically, I need to crash this wave ASAP. I mean, surely if he's doing this, Belveth is with him, right? There's no way he'd do this one we run. Or maybe he would. I don't know. Maybe he's just psycho. Okay, yeah. So they were on our bot side. It's unfortunate that I didn't manage to get the ward down earlier, because I think this was kind of expected. Very smart by Silas to pull this wave as well. Make sure it doesn't crash, especially with the Belveth and the Pike on the map. Now, that could be scary for him in the 1v1, because I can definitely kill him um, if he's not careful. Especially if he goes back on me. And I do need to make sure I'm careful with my mana, because I don't want him to just reset TP and then freeze. And I still got to be really careful about Belveth coming from bot side, because I'm very far up in the lane against the champ that has a lot of ganks it up. Okay, I put him very low, and I still have a little bit of mana. I don't actually know if I have mana to threaten the all-in, though. Hopefully this wave doesn't quite go under tower. Okay, maybe if he jumps on me, I can kill him. Okay, this seems fine. I can keep playing for mana flow procs. We're doing a we're doing a reasonable job in the lane. It would be nice if I could have like TP and then I could just dump all my mana on him. Okay, so Belveth goes bot. This isn't really unexpected. In fact, it's pretty normal. Okay, nice. They actually managed to trade once. That's super good. Now this wave is gonna come out. I need to be careful. I can't actually really let it come out to me because again, he can just go for the instant base TP. So I get a nice little bit of poke there. Okay, so a lot of kills picked up on bot side. That was very strange. Um yeah, I actually think we have to keep pushing, which sucks, because we're going to be ganked. But again, if you play versus TP, you kind of can't let the wave just come out to you, because then they can just, you know, base TP and lock you in lane. It's honestly so hard to play in lane versus TP if the opponent knows what they're doing. And I really wish Riot would make it so you can't TP in the first six minutes, because it would make the laning phase way more skillful, I think. And also it would open up a lot more options. So Belveth is currently in the top river. Pike will also gank me in the bot river soon. So I'm probably just going to ward this and then hug to top side. But I need to be super aware of the fact that Pike is like almost 100% coming mid. Um, I should probably just try crash this as soon as I can. Damn, they died on top. Oh, they actually got out. Okay, not bad. So Pike should be... Okay, Pike is actually back bot. So that's a little bit of a lucky break for us. We'll continue to push in. We'll continue to get our mana flow procs. Um, after the first base, we're just going to absolutely destroy this guy because we're going to have enough mana that we can just, you know, annihilate him pretty much. 
Okay, so he's pretty owned. He'll probably look to reset, and I think I will look to match base. I'm just going to wait a couple seconds, just in case he cancels his base and tries to shove this in. He probably couldn't because he didn't have enough mana, but sometimes people will cancel the base and try to shove this in. Now, because I queued that wave, the wave might actually end up in an awkward spot. And actually, I don't have enough gold for chapter. So I'm going to have to buy components, which sort of sucks. Yeah, and he gets chapter. Um, still, overall, though, I think I am stronger, and I think I do have enough mana that I can actually kill him. I mean, I've stacked my mana flow decently high, and the wave is coming to me, and I do have a CS lead. So now is the time to really kind of extend our lead, or that's the hope anyway. And we we have the ghost, and he doesn't have um, any combat stun now, or I guess he has flash. But anyway, he doesn't. He can't use TP for combat, right? So he wards. I'm not sure what he could do here. I mean, he could reset, but it seems like there's nothing really to reset for. So he's probably just warding in Bot River, but at the same time, he warded a lane. So I'm not too sure what Silas does at the moment. Um, okay, so he actually swapped to topside. That's kind of interesting. I mean, I would not have ever expected that, to be honest. Now, I could actually walk in River here. I think he's got to be in this bush, right? Or maybe he went round. Possibly he went round. Um, okay, so I don't know where Belveth is, but I do know where Pike is. And I have a lot of mana. I have Galio on my bot side, so I can definitely look for trades here. Yeah, I can get really aggro. Okay, we see Belveth and Bot River. Could I collapse on her? I think she's too far away, and I think bot lane's got her anyway. Okay, that's super good, because that means I can't be pressured mid now, and I can actually just destroy him in the 1v1. So what I'm going to do, when you get ahead enough uh, over your opponent that you know you just win trades, so this can either be because you have a big item advantage, XP, or just that like you know you win the matchup, which is like kind of how it goes here, where Cassio just beats Silas 1v1, you can just stand between them and the creeps. And if you can walk them far enough back, you can deny them XP. If you can't, you can just deny them gold, which is, you know, we're fine with that. Now, I do need to get a ward on the map. It'll probably be topside, because I think we want to make sure the Belveth doesn't get Herald. So I'm just going to keep standing between this guy and his creeps, which is feeling very, very good. Um, but I think I do need to get ward in top river. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to hard shove this. I could... Oh, I'm just going to ghost early. Mm, yeah, actually, maybe that was too early. Okay, managed to dodge that. Can trade him on the way out. That's okay. So that's kind of good, because it means Belveth was not on the Herald side. I'm um, just going to crash this. Pike might come mid right now. Finamir also could come mid right now. I hate how much of mid is just avoiding ganks. You know, it feels like the whole time you just have to look at the minimap more than you even have to look at your lane. Now, this guy could be on our red. In fact, I think he is. I just heard him somehow. I'm going to go this way. Um, I don't actually know if I can kill him, but... Um, okay. Well, I think he dies here. Pretty sure. Okay. Well, he doesn't die, but he should be forced out. Which is fine. That's really all we needed to do. And then Aatrox might be able to get this kill in Silas. Maybe force his flash. Okay. So we forced a lot of cooldowns out of them. And that should give us the Herald. So now we just need to be careful of Belveth ganking us from bot side. And we don't have a lot of mana if a fight breaks out. So I'm just going to try and conserve my mana in case there is a fight on this. Um, this should be fine though. I mean, again, next phase I'm going to have the chapter. And then I'll be in an even better position. So this is all looking good. I think as long as Caitlyn doesn't get too fed, the game should be fairly solid for us. So we'll keep pushing for now. I do want to get a base in at some point. I might shove this and just come try Hover the Herald, just in case Belveth tries to coin flip it. Yep, that's exactly what's happening. I knew she would do something like this. Belveth, oh my god, she actually got it. They always get super horny for the Herald. I should have moved a tiny bit earlier. I just realized a little too late. So that's pretty frustrating. But, um, I mean, we come out of it with a kill, so... I don't know. It's not the worst, but I'm just sad that I read the play slightly too late. Like, I, I was slow pushing, basically, to deny as much as possible to my opponent, and it looked like we'd secured Herald. But Belvis, they literally always do this. They just, like, all in for the Herald. So, oh well. We got a red buff. We are very, very strong. Um, bot died. Wow, Silas actually roamed bot. So I, saw, I thought Silas based, but, yeah, unfortunately, I didn't manage to see this. Could I walk bot? I mean, maybe? Galio did a really good job there. I'm not actually sure if I can kill Silas. I have a lot of gold, so this might be a waste of time. Let's see if we can just check this bush. Okay, so he's not in there. What about this one? Not in here either. Yeah, it was a waste of time. It's not unfortunate. I wasted a lot of time there, and the main reason that all went bad is just because I honestly don't have a big enough brain. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, you know, if I'm really big brain, I push the wave quicker, and then I can get to Herald before Belveth gets there. And if I were really good as well, I could see what Silas was doing while I was doing the Herald, and then ping him from going bot, because I didn't know Silas was going bot at all there. 
basically there was just too much to focus on at once um and i didn't do well enough i probably could have f keyed a bit more or maybe i could have looked at mid during the fight because i knew sars would do something it's either like basing or roaming i just thought it would be basing but yeah i need a bigger brain i need uh more more resources in my head honestly um okay so what do we do now i don't have ghost pike should be on the map belveth might be looking mid as well because she has a herald uh, i can try zone this guy for cannon maybe yep very nice um i don't have any wards so i need to be quite careful on this wave because basically yeah it's like their window to gank oh i think she's dead <laughs> okay so i oh i can fight this guy too i have a fully stacked conqueror even with the wave i think i still win this yeah get the fuck out of my lane pussies so there basically i knew i was really gankable like it was belvis window to gank I didn't have any vision around mid, so I wanted the wave to come to me. But then Velvet walked up a bit too far, and I was able to just get the kill on her. So now I'm going to ward bot side. This will protect me from pike roams. Um, although pike did just show bots, so maybe that was a waste. Don't know what Silas is doing. Most likely it's resetting, and he's very, very far behind. I mean, he's down 40 CS and 2 kills at 10 minutes. And also we have a blue buff, so we can stay on the map. I'm going to try to stay on the map until I get Leandri. Nice, very good kill on the top side. So we'll stay here for now, and we should... Yeah, I think we can stay on the map till we get Leandria. I mean, I'm full HP, full mana. Not really worried about anything at the moment. I do have ghosts to get away from any ganks. Oh my god, this guy is not having a fun time. Um, as I said, this matchup is really bad. Like, Sin or what's her name? Cassio is one of the best mid counter picks. I mean, she just destroys almost any melee. There are some, like, melee assassins that are good, but if it's any, like, melee bruiser or, like, melee fighter, I guess, is what you call Silas, they tend to be very, very hard in Cassio. Okay, looks like they just killed everyone. Might play for a kill on this guy. I could just dive him. He probably does have my ult, though. Yep. That's fine. I can just walk away from that. I honestly maybe could have killed it, but uh, I thought it was, like, kind of risky, and I don't really need to risk anything. So we'll just keep pushing. I think we take this uh, plate, and then we reset with Leandri. Is he going to run bot? I mean, he might be able to. This guy is very low. Oh, we ended up dying. Okay, so we hit this. That'll give us the plate. Now let's reset and grab Leandri. Oh, Silas TV bot. Hmm... Nothing I can do about this. I could maybe keep shoving mid, but the wave isn't big enough. So I think it's just better to, to recall. So I'll get the Leandri. Um, I can't really buy anything else. I guess I'll just buy a pink for now. But I am so exceptionally strong. I mean, I have both sums. I have Mythic. I'm like level 10. Whereas this guy's like level 7. So I absolutely just munch on anyone on the map right now. Uh, there is no way this is allowed. I'm going to put a stop to this. This is fucking criminal. Yeah, Bolin can come. But I don't think she can do it before I get there. Although they might actually get bot tower. Yeah, okay, so this is kind of bad. They're going to get bot tower. I do need to be a little careful. That herald is going to spot me. Can I push her off this? Hmm. I think I actually need to kind of give it up. Mainly because we don't have Lee here yet. Although, we might be strong enough to just fight it. Hmm. I want to keep these guys out of the fight. Okay, they ended up getting it. I think I ghost upwards here. I got to get towards my Lee Sin. So I have a front line to play behind. Once I have the front line in front of me, it should be super easy. Like, I do so much damage. That was just a really awkward fight positioning-wise. Wow, Trinomir is here. What the hell? Okay, Caitlyn should die. Okay, nice. She went down. Okay, not too bad. I mean, we're going to get a lot of gold topside. Yeah, it was an awkward fight because, like, we were down numbers, so we sort of didn't want to fight it. At the same time, we were so strong that I kind of knew we could win without numbers. But, um, yeah, it was just, like, hard to position when we were so split. Should be fine, though. Uh, we are going to get a lot top, and it looks like Trinomir is going to catch the mid wave, and I can... Maybe just hit this tower a little bit. I don't think this guy can chase me down, can he? Oh, maybe he can. Jesus, okay, this guy is strong. Wow, okay, so at least Pike got the kill. I think Pike getting my shutdown is actually kind of good. I think Pike getting kills is pretty much whatever. Um, I'm really glad that Trindomir didn't get it. So that was very disrespectful. I didn't realize, like, how strong this guy is, even with no items. So that's pretty crazy. Because at the same time, I can just play safe and let Aatrox get top. But, um, yeah, I mean, I was hella surprised, to be honest. Now, should I go Rylai or tier second i think i'll go for the rally in general i think rally second is better and i think it's good versus like heavy melee comps as well i will path bot out of base here i don't have any sums so i do need to be a little careful of you know that sort of downtime Ooh, we missed or he could have got the kill that's okay though so what are we playing for honestly i think we're just playing to play for side lane i think i want to stay away from caitlin if i can if i can just fight people on side that's really really good if we can just play for Maybe getting like two or three items is really good. Like again, I'm strong and I want to fight. Um, but I don't really want to fight in a group setting just yet. Because that Caitlyn is, is quite strong. Now Draven should just kill everyone here, I think. Yeah, that looks fine. I mean, it's so difficult to play Silas from behind, I think. You really can't afford to fall behind on that champ. And he probably felt, yeah, again, like really happy. Because it looked like he was going to play mid versus Galio. But um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's hard. He probably should have dodged once Cassio was locked in. 
Okay, Pike gets another shutdown. I honestly think that's fine. I actually, okay, a little bit of a ramp, but I think one of the biggest problems with League is like whoever gets the shutdown can like change the game a lot. You know, like if your if your shutdown goes to your support, like especially if it's a champ that's not Pike, that's almost like GG compared to like if a carry picks it up. So sometimes like you, obviously it's hard to like tactically enter this game and give your shutdown to the right person, but um sometimes just by chance, right? Like the support ends up taking it, and then suddenly like the thousand gold bounty or whatever ends up going to like an Alistair and it just doesn't matter whatsoever and I honestly think even Pike he's like not I don't even think he uses gold that well to be honest like I'm never scared of Pike getting fed I can probably come mid here I am behind Caitlyn I have nothing else to do really other than look at her oh <laughs> nice try <laughs> Okay, so that's fine. I mean, the bot wave shoves all the way in. I do have 1k gold. I can't really go bot here because there's nothing else to do. So instead, I could just fist fight top river, but I don't have any sums. So I guess we'll have a look at this. But I don't want to fully commit to this because I don't have sums. Basically, I'm just like poking my head in. And if I can do something, that's great. But if not, I'm basically just doing this because there is nothing to do bot. Like the wave's all the way in. So there's just nothing for me to do. Um, also, don't really want to tax Draven too heavily. Like it's important that he gets gold as well. So I'll just take the ones. Oh, no, <laughs> I missed them both. Okay, if Draven goes back to the fight, then I probably will shove mid. But I was intending to give this gold down. This is awkward, because I did want to get back bot, but it, I mean, if he's hitting Herald, then I'm better off just shoving mid, I think. At least this way, we might get mid tower. I don't know what is going on up here, but if we can get mid tower... Yeah, this might actually be good. If we can get mid tower while they're doing this fight, that's a pretty big win. My god, Aatrox is going mad. Is that another kill that went to Pike? <laughs> I think it was. Okay, so I should be able to get this, I think. Can we get Draven out? Doesn't look like it. We can kill this Velvet, though. Just gonna ult this guy. What? How did he not get thing over there? I think he still dies. Oh, wow. He actually ended up dying of the burn. Okay, well, now I gotta run. I think I'm out, though. How OP is Ghost? Like, the mid lane would be so good if you didn't have to take TP all the time, but the problem is TP is just too OP a sum for laning phase, so it makes it really hard to, you know, not take it. Um, so I want to try keep this tower alive if I can, but I also want to make sure I reset and get my Leandri, or my Rylan. Um, okay, we're TPing behind, so I guess we are actually playing for this fight. I'm a bit low though, and I don't have some, so I need to, like, play it quite carefully. Looks like we've found Caitlyn, maybe? Hmm. This fight isn't looking amazing. I think I just look to reset. I mean, they can chase if they want, but I think I just reset and grab my Rylai's. Um, I might even pop top at a base here. Wow, they're actually going to keep going. So this is awkward. It's hard for me to decide because on one hand, I want to be at this fight. And at the same time, I really don't want to give Trinomir the split push win condition and just have him start farming back into the game. So I think I am going to go top, but these guys have really overextended both sides. I mean, yeah, I could never have been at this fight in time, so I think I made the right decision. They just really, really overextended. So I'll keep Trinomir from doing this, but they are going to get drag, and I don't think there's anything we can do about that. If I had gone down there, maybe there's something we could do, but I really think that denying the gold onto Trinomir is actually more important. Like, Trinomir is going to become, like, their win con, where he just, like, rage sp splits the side lane and Aatrox won't be able to hold him. So if I can stop this guy from accelerating, it would be really, really good. Uh, they're going to keep going bot. I mean, they're so weak. They're, except for Pike, really. The rest of them are just so weak. So we'll shove in this. Okay, we got a mid-tower. I think Trinomir is going to kill Draven. I mean, maybe I can get him out. I think I can get him out, actually. Uh, I mean, he kills that one, right? Hmm. Maybe I can W this guy for him. Okay, I think he's dead. Oh, Trinity did not. Okay, so he manages to trade one. That's not too bad. Now, do I keep going top? Probably not. There's a lot of people up here. But at the same time, like, I can 1v2 these two. Yeah, okay, so we see the others. I can 1v2 Pike and, uh, Pike and Silas. So I'll probably stay top for now. Oh, I actually hit that. This guy needs to be really careful. Wow, that actually didn't stun. That's annoying. Okay, so now I need to back off, probably. Because Caitlyn's going to start coming top. Mm. Mm, they're so low. I want to fight this, but Caitlyn's going to ult me in a sec. I need to probably just hide up vision so I don't get altered. Oh, no, Caitlyn's far. Okay. Well, maybe Lee can take over. I don't I don't think I can really push this. I'm going to get cheesed from a bush, probably. I need these guys just to come kill him. How is this allowed? Like, Pike should be behind him, but, like, I have people up here. Pike should be in one of these bushes, probably looking to ult me. I have to flash the ult, basically, immediately. Or I'm just gonna die. I'm trying to play really far away from the bush, in case he's in it. And... Okay, maybe he's not here? I guess he's not here. So if I can, I want to shove another wave before I reset. Ooh, Baron in 10 seconds. Yeah, we have a lot of DPS. I actually think we can do this. 
Um, so I'm going to drop a ward in top jungle. I probably want to grab this honey fruit just so I'm not in pike execute range. And I think that'll make this doable. Like if I start giving him resets, that could be hard. But I think otherwise we just get this for free. I don't really see how they can contest it. Um, and if we get this, it would be super good for shit. Dude, what is that? Why does the ward look like that? Anyway, if we if we get this, it's super easy to shut down the Trindomir's book push win condition. I'll probably look for a reset here. Gonna grab my rod. I don't really want to stay around for that. So what do we do now? I think we play two lanes. Ideally, we would put a Baron buff in the lane that Trindomir is in. So if Trindomir goes top, then we probably play mid top. Otherwise, I think we should play mid bot. So basically, we just want to stop Trindomir from being out of book push. And putting the Baron buff in his wave, that's the way to do it. So it looks like it's going to be top. So we don't we don't care about this at the moment. I don't mind tanking this. I have a bit of lifesteal. Um, okay, yes. Trinomir is bot and we've got the Baron buff in his lane. So this should be really, really good. Sieging can be hard because they do have a Caitlyn. But I think if we can break this bot tower, it would be really good. We also see Silas top. So we can get quite aggressive here. We should be going even further. I need him to go first though. We really need to break this pop tower. He's going to get stuff top, so we have to trade on the other side of the map. It feels weird. Ooh, he should have kept going. Silas definitely should have kept going. Like, everyone's bot. Okay. I mean, this is fine, I think. I'm just going to W this guy. The guy is still tanking. He should die to my Leandri. Nice, I got it. Uh, my ult flashed this. I'm, I'm tempted. I'm having a look. If Kevin walks too far up, I am going to look for the ult flash engage. Okay, I'm going to ghost on this Belveth if I can. Okay, yep, this guy's dead. Very, very nice. Getting a lot of kills. Ooh. Dodge that with the movement speed. Movement speed's the best stat in the game, man. Um, does he kill him? No, he didn't quite get him. That was very close. Now, I could still alt flash on this guy. I kind of do want to, because if we can kill Caitlyn, it makes it really easy to break this tower. But if she lives, it's it's a bit harder. I mean, honestly, you can probably still get it. Although, wow, this guy's actually going in. That this guy's a maniac for that. I think he's just dead. Okay, I'm gonna... Oh my god, everyone's getting out. Gonna alt flash. No, I'm dead. No, I didn't get, didn't quite get it. So I gave a big shutdown over to Caitlyn, which I think is probably okay, because we still, still did manage to break the base. Um, but yeah, it's a little unfortunate. Honestly, it was just like a tad unlucky. We did get the shutdown on Pike though, so that's good. Can they two v two? Maybe, maybe. Anyway, we get our item here, and after this, I think, do we go Void or do we go Rabidon? So they have a little bit of MR, but it's honestly on targets I don't really care about. Like, oh, I don't know. I'm gonna be hitting Pike a fair bit. I don't know if this is enough MR to justify, and I'm also like basically solo AP. I don't think gallery support really counts. So I don't think they'll go any more MR. And that makes me want to keep building Rabadon. So I think I'll keep going for it. Well, what I'll do, I guess, is I can buy a pink, and if they come onto the map with even more MR, I guess I can sell the pink and pivot from the Rabadons and just go for the void. Um, but until then, we will just come back on the map. What do we do here? I think we're playing for this drag. Ooh. Okay, so Trin to be ghosted. I think this is fine. Like, even if he kills Gallio, Trin not having ghost means he can't team fight. So this should be a free drag no matter what. If this guy gets out of it, it doesn't matter. Caitlyn is a bit of a problem, though. Okay, he has Hex Drinker. I do kind of want a Void, but Rabidon's, I think, is more damage still. Okay. If I can pink this bush, maybe we can get control of it. Oh my god, I don't know about that. Okay, actually, it looks pretty good. I managed to get the stun on this guy as well, so we should just be able to DPS him down. Nice, get the kill. And can we break bot in here? I think we can. This is kind of just becoming a team deathmatch. I think, can, can we just bot in here? Where are the boys at? Okay, I better save this guy. Uh, I can DPS the pipe, I think. Oh, nice. Oh, I think I missed a Q. No, I still hit him. I just do no damage because he has Hex Drinker. So I did eventually come. Okay, and I think that's GG. Although, actually, we don't have a wave. Okay, it's not GG. But I think it's functionally GG. No, in my mind, the game is, like, pretty done at this point. Seems like we're way too strong. Um, okay, so we get this. How long until Baron? Not too long. I could actually buy Magi's this game. The movement speed is really nice. Movement speed is really good against melee comps, especially. So I actually think I will buy Magi's this game. Let's come and do this. Yeah, yeah, we should be able to get this for free. I don't see any way they're going to contest. So we'll grab this, and then we'll just um, reset, spend our gold, get the Magi's, and just like that, Bob's your dad's brother, I think. Yeah. So it's play topside now, I think. It's going to be difficult for Trindomir to push out into the uh, Baron, or the, not the Baron, the Inhib. It's going to take him a while. I'll grab another pink just for safety. Probably just going to put it on the Baron, though. I wonder if someone should go bot just to keep this wave shoved. It can't be me because I don't have TP. I guess this guy's TP is down, too. So it's set up on topside. And let's try pink top river somewhere. Now I'll pink this. 
They might be able to contest this though. Also, we don't really see many people. Yeah, so someone is here. Ah, oh, it's Pike. I'm just gonna instantly lose this. Wow, he's a Chad for that. What the? Okay, well, that's no Ignite. That was a little scary. He actually did so much damage. What the hell? I took like, what was that? Like one E, a Q, and Ignite? And now I'm half health? How annoying. We need to bring back Ravenous Hunters so the mids can actually sustain. Like, Cassie is like one of the better mids at sustaining up as well. Oh, this guy looks dead as fuck, I think. Yeah, no, I can't really do anything for him here. I might need to be careful. I think if I'm Pike, I try and chase me down here. I do have Ghost to work with. What is Draven doing? <laughs> He's doing his best. Uh, I'll keep sieging top. Ooh, this guy's in a bit of trouble, maybe. I can peel him in a sec. So here I'm just grouping, mainly because I see my team fighting. It would be nice to hit that top tower, but I think given that we're getting real stuck in with the boys, I probably just need to be here. I'm going to try to stay over this wall, mainly because I don't want to get too far in here. I can give him the W. Trying, anyway. Okay, well, the tower's dead. I guess now I can get in here. They're all really, really low. Lee is so strong. And Draven's now just running around killing everything. Got the W. I hit him with Q as well. And we should be able to do this. Got the slow on in there. I think this game is a really good example, by the way, of how to abuse counterpick. Like, if you do get counterpick mid, this is kind of like what you want to do. You know, you want, like, permanent prior. You want to be able to get, like, CS advantage. You want to get, like, a solo kill if you can. Um, you know, bring the enemy jungler mid. Like, you can see the mid gap this game is really substantial. And obviously, that was made, like, a hell of a lot easier just because I have a, a winning mid matchup, right? I don't actually think I can go on this guy. I'm a bit too low. We should probably just hit the Nexus or I'm about to die to Caitlyn. Oh, I better back up a bit. I don't want to lose my Magi stacks. It'd be bad for the program. Oh, okay, can I get out here? I think the answer is no. Oh, nice. We managed to win. So, interesting game. I mean, good use of counterpick. Other than that, honestly, I don't think there was too much to say. I guess playing around the mid-jungle and the pike was pretty important because... They did have an um, extreme amount of gank set up this game onto mid. I managed to avoid pretty much every gank. I mean, did I die to a gank? I can't actually remember. I just realized this guy's name is Zoe Panties XD. That's fucking disgusting. I'm going to honor probably... Who do I honor? Honestly, I think the Galio played pretty decent. I'll give him an honor. And let's see what LP we got for that. I imagine it wasn't too much. It probably it felt like a reasonably low elo game. Yeah, plus 25. So didn't get that much for it. Damage was pretty absurd from the Caitlyn, but you can see all the melee champs really suffered, you know, dealing damage in the Cassio. So good pick for sure. Hope you guys did like the video. If you did like this one, go ahead and like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.